everybody, it's your boy Madbag. And in this video, we're gonna talk about two different orders. In this video, on DoorDash, which is the original stacked order, and this new order, which I call a scam order, because it is a stacked order, but it's already batched for you. They're all Both of them are already there and whatnot. So let's get into the video. What are the differences? All right, the original stacked order, which you can still get, are, just say you go to Chipotle. I use that reference a lot. But if we go to Chipotle and then you get there and you swipe right, say that you just got there and then sometimes you'll get another order from either the same restaurant or another restaurant close by and then it'll tell you the total that you'll get for, you know, accepting it and delivering it and then, you know, it tells you the miles and then you have a certain time limit to accept it. And you can decline it, accept it, whatever. It has nothing against your acceptance rate. You don't have to accept it or not. It's up to you. And even if it did have some, you know, go against your acceptance rate, it really wouldn't matter because acceptance rate doesn't matter in um, DoorDash. But this new one, you have you have a bat. It'll come in <clears throat> already as two orders. Two orders will come in at once, and you'll see it on the map. You'll either go to the same restaurant pick up both orders from the same restaurant and bring it over there to both people or you'll go to one restaurant pick it up and then you'll go to another restaurant pick it up and then you'll drive over there to the drop-off spots the thing is i don't like about them and i feel like they're scams is because as, as you've seen in my last video if you watched it there has been a couple references in that video because i got a few in it basically what happens is unlike in the original stacked orders you can't decline one single order or not this one you have to accept the whole batch or the whole stacked order or decline the whole stacked order and then why i call it a scam is because you know <clears throat> a lot of people especially in this decline now movement you try to you know get orders that are more money for the less mileage and these stacked orders that are pre-batched or pre-stacked you actually have to, you know, one of, one of the order is, here's the restaurant, here's the drop-off point for one, and then all of a sudden, here's the restaurant for the other one, and then the drop-off point's way over here. And that's why I feel like it's a scam order, because, you know, it's showing you a good order, and then all of a sudden, it's showing you an order that's super far away. And I feel like that's how... DoorDash is starting to get us to accept low, lower ball orders is by putting these low ball orders inside of a bigger order and whatnot. And I don't even like stacked orders to begin with. Sometimes they're okay, but a lot of times they're not. I've had a couple bad experiences with them. Like there's this one example where I keep on mentioning Chipotle because <clears throat> Chipotle is one of the worst restaurants that I've been to so far not every chipotle is bad i mean i've had like in my last video a couple good uh, pickups that were speedy and quick but in this particular situation it was the one off route three in fredericksburg i had gone there uh before i even gotten i got the order at seven o'clock or no right before seven it was like 6 50 and then i go over there and said pickup time seven o'clock so i'm waiting there 10 20 30 minutes 30 minutes goes by, I'm like, what in the world? So we go up and then we ask, because, you know, people are coming in left and right, you know, getting their orders, and they just didn't do anything with it. They were just still preparing it. And then um, literally I got another order not too long before that for Chili's, which is literally right across the street, not even a mile away. And that was supposed to be picked up for at 750 and literally, I sat there for almost an hour waiting for one order. And then by the time I got that, I went over there to the Chili's, got that. Eventually, I had to wait there for like 10 minutes. So basically, my Chipotle order was kind of getting cold. Luckily, it was still kind of close together. But one thing I don't, that's one thing I don't like about stacked orders is the fact that sometimes you go to a restaurant and then they could be super like slow. And then, you know, your pickup time, you go way past your pickup time. Luckily, I have this little thing on the bottom of the screen where you can say what, you know, it tells you what's going on. You know, you can tell them, oh, yeah, well, they didn't start preparing the order, 
you know, until I arrived or long lines or whatever. And then, you know, supposedly it's an input that DoorDash can help speed up times, I guess. But I had, um, the reason why I don't like it is because, you know, if you just say you get one stacked order, you go to a restaurant that's super slow, you're going to be waiting 10, 20 minutes for food. And then most likely, if you get a same, a stacked order from the same restaurant, most likely you don't have to be waiting 10, 20 minutes for the other food that's being prepared. So you got to be wary. Sometimes you can get in and out and then go. Sometimes not. I mean, I've had bad experiences with it. I don't really preferably like stacked orders. I also don't really like bringing more, you know, more than one order to different, you know, two different houses. I'd rather just pick up one order, go, and then drop it off and then get my next order. Because usually if it's really busy, you know, whenever I pick my orders, I try to pick them pretty close to where, you know, the hot spots are, are because in that area that I usually do it in, in Stafford, if you know the hot spots are usually right around an area where there's a whole bunch of you know different restaurants i don't try i try not to sit at hot spots but that's the size point that's another video for another day but usually i get another order right off the bat and that's how my last video went i was getting orders pretty much left and right and i mean yeah some of them sucked yeah i got a batched order that was like eight dollars for like two miles or whatever but one of, I just didn't feel like taking it. Yeah, and some people are going to think that I'm crazy. But I didn't take it because I didn't feel like it was worth my time. That's just my opinion. I mean, tell me your opinions in the comments below whether you feel like, you know, it's these stacked orders are worth your time. If you like them, if you had any bad experiences, let me know in the comments below. And let's talk about it, you know, because, I mean, especially about these new stacked orders that I feel like are scams. Do you feel like they're you know, throwing low ball orders inside of bigger orders so they can get us to accept them. Because like I said, in these orders, you can't just like pick and choose which order you want to uh, accept or deny. You know, you actually have to accept it or decline it. I mean, I wouldn't doubt you can go inside of it, you know, once you accept it and then decline one of them, but that'll go against your cancellation right now, but, and then it'll bring down the price of what the original order was because it's taking away the price of that, or you know, smaller order. But I, that I wouldn't personally do that if I didn't want, don't want to do the order. I'm just not gonna do it. It, if it's on, a, especially if it affects my cancellation rate. But that's just my opinion. If you guys have any comments? Leave them down below, and let me know what you guys think. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.